Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. Uh, what you're about to watch is a sample from my Spring Core course. This video is about setting up a new project using Spring Boot and Spring Initializer right through IntelliJ. I'll show you how to open up IntelliJ, create a new project without even leaving IntelliJ, but you'll be using Spring Initializer in the background to set up a new project in IntelliJ. Hope you enjoy it, and if you want to learn more about the course, uh, it is on Spring Core. This is just a small sample of it. You can learn more at my website, springframework.guru. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. Today I'm going to show you how to use IntelliJ and Spring Initializer to create a new Spring Boot project. We're going to use the Spring Boot project in the next module for some dependency injection examples. Okay, we're going to go into IntelliJ. We want to go up to File, New, New Project. Now we want to use the Spring Initializer option. We're going to go down here and click on Next. And our next module is going to be on Dependency Injection. I'm going to change a couple of these things here to, to my domain. Okay, so I have all the defaults set up the way I want them. Now I just click on Next. And the only thing we're going to want in this is Spring Web. And I've been using, see if we can use the Spring 3. Okay, we have Spring 3, Release Candidate 1 is available now. So I've been using the newer versions of Spring, Spring Boot, so I've been pretty happy with that. So you can see we have a lot of other options here. Uh, we're not going to get into that right now. Actually, I don't even need a web, web option, so I'm going to leave that unselected. We're going to just do pring, pure Spring stuff with this one. So this is just going to be a very generic Spring Boot project that we can use for some dependency injection examples. So I'm just going to leave these things un, unselected. Now I just say Next. So I want to give the project name DI Example. And this is where I want to store it. So that, that's going to be your working location there. So these are a few settings here. Everything's fine there. The IntelliJ defaults are usually pretty good for that. I'm going to click on Finish. Now IntelliJ is asking me if I want to create this directory since it doesn't exist. Yes, I do. Now IntelliJ is going to go out and build this project. So IntelliJ just warned me about a Maven project, which I just said OK. So this is the structure that the Spring Boot project comes in. So just to walk you through here. So we get the application. Resources are going to be empty. We have a, a default application properties. There's nothing in that, though. A test directory. So we get a very simple JUnit test here. And then our Maven POM is the next thing that's of interest. So we brought down a Maven POM from the, the Spring Initializer. This does the, the Spring Boot artifacts. It sets up a few repositories for us. And I'm going to run this application just to show you that. So we do right click run. You can see down at the bottom IntelliJ is making the project right now. And we can see that Spring Boot has launched in the window there. So it's not going to do anything. There's no no code here, but it does come up and run and then shuts down. So that is all the steps that we need to do to create a new Spring Boot project using Spring Initializer through IntelliJ.